onto the planetary healing yep. meditation. So um, I think I'm right in thinking this, aren't I, Teresa? Yeah, we've got lovely Barbara joining us. And this is a, a very quick thing that we... Um, we we included uh barbara shared a wonderful image with us uh after one of the sessions that we had this week and we just thought it would really fit with uh the theme of today and with the whole of today we didn't really know what all the speakers were going to share um but you can see all these threads coming through and the speakers haven't spoke to one another some know each other some don't um so I think Barbara, when she shares her bits of inspiration, uh, you'll see some of this all come, come together. So Barbara, we'd like to invite you to, to uh, say a few words. Hello, Lisa. Hello, everyone. It's lovely to be able to join you on this uh, auspicious day, should I say, this happy day. It's a lovely time of year, the summer, and it always sort of brings that upliftment, that happiness, to make us feel better. But you know, there are words that I wanted to share with you, that uh, from the moment we're born, from that divine source, and we enter into this material world, and um, we're all right for a period of time whilst we're in our mother's arms, but when we start walking out into the bigger world to the schools, the different levels of schools and into the real world and we begin to lose ourselves, lose the very, can I say, true self within, that power within, become more robot-like and we just concern ourselves with our duties, the law, uh, the hardship one probably, the fears, the anger, all around us in the world. When we do get lost, this energy, this beautiful energy within, it gets lost. We get layered with the outer world. I have been a healer, um, a qualified healer, for over 20 years. And I've always seemed to be able to connect to that higher source, which is beautiful when you can do it. When you give yourself the time, because we all deserve that me time, you time, to connect to such a beautiful source. And it's interesting today how I've been listening to the different ones that come in from all directions and all levels. But I can tell you that the last two days I have been sketching frequently and writing lots they're making me work on a fast vibration and it is changing the vibration in the world and around the world in the cosmos but this is the one i did quickly here and i've got to tell you that lady that was caught talking about colors this took about four minutes on about the universe she was on about i don't know if you can see it there but um, the chakras, this golden chalice that's being poured out from the higher source, and it's got the yellow and the orange and the red, that is part of what they're pouring out, this divine source pouring out to us all the time. And I thought that linked with that lady, what she said. This one here is so beautiful. And it's about the summertime, the jewels within, the jewels that have been forgotten, that are our true selves, the divine within us, the beauty within us. And there's only we that hold the key to open that door to our inner teachings, our own truth and our own self. But I want to show you this one quickly here. I know it's going to be very quickly. But this is the true jewels that we have within. The beauty that we hold within. That is sometimes forgotten. From the exterior of the outside world we get bombarded with. And it's time now 
to recognize the true self and the true self within. And they gave me words to this here. Can I read it quickly? Barbara, take your time. We've got enough time. All right. I thought it was uh, only five minutes, so I'm trying I to get. I think we can go to ten. <laughs> oh, oh, that's lovely then. If that's all right with everyone, and I know Lynn will. We can I'm go later with Lynn as well. I'm trying to sketch at the same time as write words because it'll go in here and out here and it's gone if you don't write it down. It is a time now to reconnect with nature, to connect with your true self within, that divine power. To know you are part of that power, that energy we call God the source of all life and all creation, the everlasting power, the light, love and truth of the true self. This is a time of thoughts, a time to make changes in everyday life. In the stillness of your minds, you will find these things that you need to make life happier more peaceful and more fulfilled for you hold a key your key to open your true self and find your own knowledge wisdom love compassion to guide you on your path of life connect with family friends animal kingdom and indeed mother earth who also needs so much protection and healing. You take so much of her from her, every, from her very core. She can, she can nurture us and feed us, but she needs nurturing love and compassion on all levels too. She needs love to share but let us share with all things in a loving and caring way, animal, human, and planet Earth, to know the true treasure of all life, that is the power, the spirit within, on all levels and all dimensions of life throughout all eternity. So shine that jewel within that you have, to share, to share. This is how we should be projecting ourselves out into the world, our true colours, the true colours that we have within that make us the individual. It's not the beauty on the outside, it's what you have on the inside. Like the jewels of the earth, are taken from her life can take from us our jewels our beauty if we don't find them again and shine them and i think that here is so beautiful and this one here i've got to show you um to all the angels in the sun it's like a sunflower but it is the sun but there's so many angels shining down all these different colors in their groups this beauty the light onto the earth the planet all the sending this energy this power and this love for us to share to uplift us we've got that within and i've always believed ever since i've been a little girl that these powers that are all around us and within us are our true self, our descendants that go, that shine that torch of love for us. Love is never ever lost. It goes on through all eternity. So colours to me is a healing. It's a healing. And all the colours in the summer are there for us to share. Too many of us today are too busy to recognize 
a single flower, its fragrance and its beauty. Too busy, we pass everything, you know, too busy running from one to another thing that we have to do in our material life. And our time, it's time to reflect, look at nature, drink in its beauty, but open that, find that key of your own and open that treasure box that is the true treasure that you are, that we are in nature itself. So I think that's wonderful to be able to share in all this. And we may come from different angles to it, but it's all the same, it's all linked. The same energy, colours, music, inspiration, writing. There's lots here, Lisa, that I could read to you. But um, I think that is enough for me today. Maybe I can share some other time for you, some wonderful readings and inspiration. Thank you so much, Barbara. Um, and you only were given a couple of days notice, so this was very in, in flow. And, uh... Well, that's, that's fine because you could, I mean, I'm, I, um, it comes natural with me. Um, it, everything's natural that I do here. I don't, you know, um, read or I don't study or, it's just from within, so it does it flowers naturally, yeah. and um, I'm not very disciplined. And I think that this lockdown is learning me discipline, Lisa. Discipline. So it's what I need for the work I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much. Uh, back to you, Linda. Oh. Barbara, that was fantastic. Thank you. I actually feel really quite emotional. So, thank so thank you so much. And next time I hear you talk, I'm going to go and get waterproof mascara beforehand because now I know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That was. True words do touch the inner inner self, the emotions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.